guys today is monday and welcome to my weekly vlog nice to see you again thank you for watching and stuff you can see my hair is air drying yesterday i washed my hair but something really bad happened like at the end of my wash i used some leave-in conditioner and it didn't really look how it had to look so i washed my hair around i had the wash day routine and I finished washing my hair around 7 or 8 in the evening. And what happened was that when I put the lemon conditioner and I let my hair air dry, the result was terrible. I'm not going to say the hair was straight, but there was no curls because the hair was very frizzy. And if I leave my hair like that, I know that right that night, there was going to be tangles. And right after tomorrow, my hair will be breaking just because it has tangles and just because it's being dry and I wasn't going to leave it like that. So... I did some type of, because that living conditioner didn't really work, I don't know what is it that it did, or I don't know what was wrong with my hair, but it didn't really work. I just made some DIY the living conditioner, sorry, and I made it with, like, I'm gonna show you this, here, I put it in this bowl. I just used um, the Natural Slime from Therese May, I think it was, and I also used this living conditioner that I always have is like my holy grail because it has very little ingredients and stuff and I like to use it all the time I like to have it just in case like for these cases and like I just mix them together I just mix them in this bowl and I put a little bit of water to because the texture was way too thick for my hair so I wet my hair again I rinse the product that I put yesterday the lemon conditioner and everything and I put this one like I dry it a little bit with a microfiber towel and I put this one like in sections and I comb it and everything to define the curls. So this is the result so far right now. And I'm waiting for it to let to air dry. Like I'm not gonna touch it. I was thinking about touching it with I was thinking about drying it with a blow dry, but oh that will cause more freeze. So my hair is being freezy right now. It's it wants to be freezy, so I'm just gonna let it like this. I'm not gonna even move my head. I'm just gonna stay like this, and I'm gonna wait for it to dry. It's gonna be like two to three hours. It's like so freaking long to dry. Like I'm telling you, I'm low porosity hair. This is this is not right. This is not right. I even call a treat in my hair, but it's still low porosity. I just don't get it. There's something wrong with my hair, but. Maybe it's right, maybe it's healthy, maybe it's just that it's too thick because my hair is very thick. But yeah, this is what we have right now. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to insert some type of video after this of when it's dry, if it's not night time. If it's night time, I just gonna have to show it tomorrow. So, hello guys, today is Tuesday. Look at this mane that I have right here. It worked though, it took five freaking hours to dry i'm telling you for real like in even this place even this part right here in the back i had to touch it last night because it was freezing still like can you explain that to me like i don't get it but i finished washing my hair around two no i mean i finished um correcting my hair around two in the evening and my hair was completely dry for 7 p.m not completely dry, I'm not gonna say completely dry, it was 95% dry to the point that I could touch it and it wouldn't get freezy. The result, I love it at all. It has some type of volume because they don't want to crumb together when they are the rule or something like that, I don't know. And it has some type of volume, but it also has super definition. Like, look at this, bro. Look, oh, oh, damn. Like, they look pretty today, though. They look really nice. Even though last night when I was sleeping, because I I was I sleep in a satin pillowcase, but I don't wear any satin scarf or anything like that. So my hair is like that, like all scrunch in the in the in the bed. And yeah, this is the result. I'm really loving these cute little curls, and they feel moisturized. Like I put so much conditioner or kind of the leave-in that I made. I put so much living that I made into my curls 
and every single part and every single part that I was putting the thing on. But even though that they not hard and they bouncy and they juicy and if I comb my fingers through it they will destroy it. <laughs> they will get destroyed because they are so soft. Like that's how soft they are. I'm gonna turn around for you again. This is how they're looking today. We're gonna see tomorrow if this continues. And yeah, that's everything. Like at, at the end, um, yesterday at night, I put a little bit of um, almond oil, sweet almond oil on my hands. I rub it on my hands and I put it on my hair. So this is what we have right now. Oh my God. <laughs> this is what we have right now. And yeah. That's everything. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, guys. Work. Today is Wednesday, and this is how my hair is looking today. I come to you with a rough face, no makeup on. Today I'm uh, because it's looking kind of low. Like I don't, I really don't know what is wrong with the bar, but like what is wrong with this part of my hair that is all low and and, and just want to lay down all the time. So I'm gonna try to pick it up. And also gonna spritz some water because it's three hair day or something like that. I think it was day two or day three, something like that. Um, I believe, and I kind of notice that the tea tree oil dries out my hair a little bit. It's only for my scalp now, so I'm gonna use it only for my scalp when I have the itchy scalp or something like that. And for the rest of the time, we just use plain water. I'm gonna do a 360 so you can see the definition that I was talking about. So right now, let me grab my no, okay. Oh, this looks sad. And one bobby pin. Because this hair, this hair right here, it keeps going to this side and I don't like that. It's uncomfortable. So yesterday I was putting one bobby pin in here and I was putting the hair in here and it was just staying to that side all the time. Like normally I will style my hair to the front but because if I style it to the front it's gonna cover my eyes and I don't like having something on my face all the time. It's, it's annoying. So and I, don't, I just don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut the, the hair because I can even do a whole bun together all my hair in the back to be able to do a bun because it's not long enough so I'm not gonna cut it and make it even shorter mm -mm. I'm just gonna let it grow my ends with this way my ends are looking pretty well like they kind of curl into each other and they they feel very protected and very soft even the one for the back let me see I have this situation right here look at this one look at this one this is so pretty. So, just gonna pin my hair. I said the other day on Pinterest, you when you're using a bobby pin, you don't use it with this side, like this side and this cup and this side and the hair. Mm -mm. It's like that. So, you put the thing like that, and this side goes on your scalp, and this side goes on top of the hair. That way, you don't damage your scalp or scratch yourself or anything. Today I'm gonna stay at home, so I'm gonna just tie my hair up or so. I don't. Till tomorrow. Well, hello guys. This is today's look. Like just to show you, I didn't do anything to my head. Just to spray a little bit of water, like yesterday. Just to show you how the definition and the curls are keeping up still, like right here. They're pretty long though, but like in comparison with how many times I cut my hair to the point that I had that tiny boy cut. Um, yeah. Hopefully this time I save my ends and I don't have to cut it again. Like for real, for real, I'm not cutting it. Even though every single time that I see <laughs> my ends looking weird, I want to cut them. I just want to <laughs> everything. Like literally, I feel that every time that I talk on the blog, I'm saying that I'm gonna cut it. 
like, I don't want to. And I, I kind of find myself trying to convince myself not to cut it because every time that I see it, it doesn't look good. Like the ends. But they're looking fine and they're feeling fine. So yeah, hopefully I'm not going to talk about this anymore. So... We talk good evening, sweet and lovely people. Well, I should say good afternoon. It's not that late. I'm gonna call wash. Okay. I was thinking, like, my hair needs water right now. Like, right now. Because it's super dry. And we're gonna just wash it, but maybe shampooing so many times a month. Because every time that I wash my hair, I wash it. Like, I do pre pool and then I wash it and then I condition. And the rest and the rest. Maybe shampooing all the time is not good, so I just gonna co wash and we'll see how that goes. Stop! Just had the shower. I did co wash with um, uh, we're gonna co wash from as I am. This is the result. My hair is feeling, feeling pretty soft. Today, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a low bun. Okay, and I'm gonna start with the bare face. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use the leave-in leave -in that I did with the Tresemme Naturals conditioner plus the conditioner that I told you already that I have for a very long time because it's a stable, a stable of mine. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just put it on the outside just to kind of lay my hair down or something like that. It's gonna keep it moisturized through the rest of this bun. The day today is pretty humid. It has been raining, I think. I haven't stepped out of the house, but I think it has been raining. So I don't have time today to just let my hair dry for five hours. So I just gonna try the bun. As always, I take the well, as always, as recently, I take the conditioner. I rub it in my hands. So it's warm and my hair kind of absorb it better. And I just apply it, just like whatever. It detangles so well though. Let me see. No hairs in it. I have like one minute or two minutes every day. And then one day that I take like six minutes or a whole hour to <laughs> do something, I have to edit it. Like the other days I edited it too, but there's not so much pauses and there's not so much things that I have to correct. But this one, it, it kind of kind of pisses me off a little bit because I have to I have to cut a lot of things, and maybe I'm saying something important, but I can I cannot like important like important to me. But I cannot include it in the vlog because then the vlog will be too long. And I, then I don't remember if I said it already on that vlog or if I didn't. This is kind of confusing. It is pissed me off though. <laughs> so this is what I'm kind of trying to achieve. Something like this. But yeah, definitely have to lay my hair. I don't know if I'm going to do the middle part here. I'm going to try to check how a side part will look. I'm wearing eye contact y'all. I was was Brian every time that I was filming something, recording something. I'm not a pro or anything like that. Every time that I was recording something, I didn't have my eye contact on, my eye, my glasses on, so I couldn't see what I was recording because I had to be really far from the camera. Oh, but today I wear eye contact, and they itching. side part shorter side part i forgot about these hairs i don't want to stay in place what should i do i don't know i'm so confused i feel so bad every single time that i have to go somewhere and i have this picture in my mind of what i'm gonna wear and then the morning comes and i'm started getting ready and everything and i look in the mirror and it doesn't look how i thought it would look at all <laughs> it is frustrating me so bad I just sit on the place and I'm like, what am I going to wear now? Like, because it's not only clothes, it's clothes, shoes, it's makeup, it's hairstyle. Like, what? 
That's why I like the wig so much because I basically just have the braids and that wig, anything that I put on, I just have to put a little bit of jewelry or something like that and it look awesome. I don't make it too. Like a little bit of blush or whatever. Yo, my hair is drying. <laughs> okay, basically you almost yeah, everything is ready now. I have my dark and lovely uh, quick styling gel, super hole. Quick size on forte. Just gonna use it. I know it's not the best thing to use on here, but yo, I was in this thing. Uh, actually, it is alcohol free. I'm just gonna put it. I know my hair is dry now already. Like, can you see that? Can you see that? How it dries out so quickly when I don't have anything on it. But if I put in something, it doesn't want to dry like in forever. So now we're gonna put a little bit of edge control to put set everything in place or whatever. Come on, nail a big bunch of L control. Edge control. What do you think? Like, I think it's fine. What do you think? Twenty to thirty bobby pins in here. I'm gonna put my earrings on because I feel naked like already. Yo. 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 Should I? Should I? Actually, they they look good. I don't know. We will see. But for now, I just gonna put the. I feel like that's enough though. Like actually when I get home and some people just take the bra off, some people just take their band off, I take the bobby pins off. <laughs> like I remember one time that I was coming that I had to go to an interview or something like that, like that I had to look formal and I did a bun and my hair was just like now and I had to put a lot of bobby pins. So when I came home, I was so freaking tired. I didn't take my shoes off, I didn't take the my clothes or anything like that. I took the bobby pants on and I was like, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Good to know me, partner.